Sue, what are you doing home? <laughs> wow, you almost look like a real cop. You're supposed to be in school. Oh no, are you gonna tell mom? It's not like she's going to care. Where'd you get all that stuff? I fell off the back of a truck. What are you doing hanging out with these losers? They're my friends, and you have no right to call them that. <sighs> Come on, guys, let's get out of here. Sue, stop! Get your hands off of me! You have so much potential. You're ruining your life! At least I have a life. Calling all units. Robbery reported on the corner of 5th and Harbor. Suspect vehicle headed south on Howe Boulevard. Units responding identify. Unit 3 responding. So you're robbing stores with the Terra Triad now? I didn't steal anything. I just drove the car. I owed my friends a favor. It's not a big deal. I'm not letting you get away with this. Oh, <laughs> what are you going to do, officer? Arrest me? Don't even think about taking one more step! What were you thinking? And what were you thinking? You two have put me in an impossible position. You're mad at me? She's the one who was running around with criminals. This is all your fault. I was doing my job. Uh, all right, enough. Here's what we're going to do. Sue, you need to leave the city as soon as possible. What? Where am I supposed to go? You'll go stay with your grandparents. Lynn, give me the arrest report. Mom, what are you doing? You can't cover this up. There were witnesses. I'm the chief of police. I can't have a daughter in jail. So once again, Sue gets to do whatever she wants and there are no consequences. <sighs> this is our only option. After 30 years, you're finally ready to talk. When we were in Mom's office that day, you could have taken responsibility for what you did. But instead, you stayed quiet and let Mom throw her whole career away. Mom didn't throw her career away. She retired the next year. She was a hero. You think she wanted to retire? She was so guilt-ridden about what she did to protect you, she didn't feel worthy of her badge. Look, I admit that I was not a perfect kid and I've made some mistakes in the past, but... <laughs> you made some mistakes? Lynn, Mom and I already talked about this years ago and worked things out. If you had gotten together with us like we'd asked, you would know that I'm a different person now. I've been a different person for a long time. You think just because you live in a big fancy house and have a chef who cooks you fancy food that you're a different person? Maybe you can fool everyone else, but you can't fool me. I see right through you. You know what, Lynn? You're the one who hasn't changed. You're still a bitter loner who only cares about herself. No wonder Tenzin ended things with you years ago. <laughs> okay, I guess this is how it's going to be. Should I stop them? You don't have any siblings. Fighting is all part of the healing process. Go, Mom! Actually, it looks kind of better now.
You got it out of your system? Not quite yet! What are you two doing? You're sisters! Why would you want to hurt each other? Oh. <sighs>